understood early on that this, this outbreak in, in China could become really a pandemic. We went to our team, discussed how this can be done in, in the shortest possible time. We uh, created the project name Lightspeed yeah, to make clear that we really want to, to go extremely fast. The entire pro project wa was a challenge in, in, in itself. This was an unknown virus and uh, uh, we um, have an a wonderful t a team which we have built over time with which we have uh, gone through thick and thin free, uh, through also difficult situations in the past and uh, we trusted that together we would just uh, just um, solve the problems as uh, we would encounter them. I always wanted to become a scientist. Yeah? I was always uh, driven by curiosity. I was uh, reading uh, uh, science books uh, very early uh, about how things work, how nature, nature works, so I always wanted to become a scientist. Uh, yes, I, I, uh, it uh, was the same, same with me. I also cannot not recall one moment. Um, I grew up with a dad, uh, with a father who was a physician and uh, he on the one hand was very patient-centric but on the other hand was very scientific and, and um, uh, interested uh, and, uh, to, to, to learn. So um, the very environment I grew up in uh, was um, uh, uh, governed by the thought that you need science and technology if you want to change and make a difference. So our, our career uh, was, was um, shaped by, by, by our passion. Cancer was one of our priorities. And on the other hand, being scientists, we understood that uh, what technology and science offers could be uh, solutions of immediate impact um, and uh, therefore uh, what was basically what became our passion is to translate science and technology into survival and health. It is important if you start such a journey to have a clear vision uh, uh, because the journey is very very long. Uh, it's uh, like a lighthouse you always see in the distance on the other side, you have to love what you do. And this is the importance in science. And that we all, every, every morning, every day, uh, we, if we start working, yeah, we are excited. We want to continue to learn. We are curious. Yeah, and, and we know that, that if things uh, don't work from the very beginning, they will work at uh, one time. So it was, it was, um uh, 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 the day on which this analysis would happen, which was an interim analysis of the efficacy of a vaccine. And um, I remember that uh, Urge and I were, were uh, uh, sitting together at the table and were discussing and what Urge said was, uh, well, we don't know what we will hear today. Yeah? And indeed, uh, there was no way of knowing whether the thumb would be up or down. Yeah? And uh, he said uh, that uh, irrespective of what we would hear, it was worth it to try to contribute and uh, that it w had been an, a moral obligation. Later the day we got the call um, f uh, with the data from this independent committee and heard that our vaccine uh, did work, that we had a protective efficacy and we also did hear that it is 95%, uh, which uh, this was the second su surprise and, and unknown and uh, it was an accelerating moment to learn this. We, we felt blessed um, because it's not only about being diligent and doing the work, it also uh, is about biology being merciful and uh, this virus was susceptible to a vaccine so it was a very yeah special moment for us yeah yeah so we felt blessed and grateful we understood that our work the 20 years of research our team's work uh, was paying off knowing that we have a vaccine the question would be how can we how can we make this vaccine available for everyone on the planet there are still um, there is still a large uh, 
uh, part of a, of, a of a global population, of a population of this uh, planet, in particular also in low and mid -income, middle income countries, uh, which uh, uh, has not received the vaccine and uh, uh, ha have, has to, have to be served. So this is part of our current and also future work to, on the one hand, ensure that everyone who wants to be vaccinated gets uh, the vaccine. And the other uh, work stream is to um, accelerate and uh, further focus uh, on our first love, uh, the treatment of cancer. But what we also have learned is how broad actually the potential of mRNA is. And this includes on the one hand um, uh, infectious diseases, malaria and TBC and HIV are the biggest killers there. We are now in a position uh, to be able to invest a lot into research and change the fate of many type of diseases and, and this, is, this, is, this is a great chance and again an obligation. Mm -hmm.